I know it seems like a small exercise to sort of slow him down at each stage, but it's, it's imperative. If we want him calm and relaxed and mindful on the walk with you, yeah. we need him calm and relaxed at every step. And so <clears throat> I know you said you make him, so I want you to do your normal routine in this situation. Okay. Well, then. See, he's set. He knew. Again, we've got the, the order down. <laughs> Topsy-turvy. Yeah. Up here. Sit. I know. It's okay, dude. Let's I know. Take focus. your time. We're asking a lot of him right now. I'll have you go on. I want to go back and redo that again. Great. Hey, bud. Sorry. <laughs> so what this is is dog training versus, like, dog behavior, yeah. dog psychology, right? <laughs> Which is <clears throat> I like that you make him sit and wait, and then the next step would be wait until he, like, calms down a little bit. Mm -hmm. And what I see a lot of times with release words, like the whole break or okay, mm -hmm. is that you got him to calm down a little bit here, and then the second he went through this threshold, <laughs> He, you got excited again. <laughs> and so what I would say, instead of doing that, <clears throat> I would make him sit. I would keep the leash short but not tense, and then just move. Have okay. him actually pay attention to your energy and your body language, yeah. not just like the verbal cue of okay. Because yeah. I see that all the time, whether it's with food or with going out of thresholds. It's like, my dog will sit and wait. I'm like, yes, but they're sitting waiting in anticipation. They're like, yeah. okay, release me. I'm ready to go. <laughs> like a horse at the racetracks. They're just mm -hmm. like ready to get out of there. And so what he's learned is in order to get out of this threshold, I mm -hmm. should be excited. Because yeah. that's his state of mind every time he goes out. Mm -hmm. So all the work you're putting in here sort of just goes out the window when you're finally outside. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so you can do that routine again, but I would just say, like, don't really talk to him. You'll, you'll talk to him through, again, energy and body language yeah. and with the leash. And so when you move out the door, just, just move. Don't, like, release him with a verbal cue. So once does it matter? You can make him sit again. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's fine. a little bit better that's <laughs> if you had like when you have time to do this in the morning yeah, yeah. I want you to spend as much time as necessary for him to go I, I want him basically asleep anytime you put the leash on him yeah. or when you're going through a threshold which the first week is going to be frustrating yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. but after that it's a lot easier see how much calmer oh, that was so cool. right <laughs>